Welcome intellectuals to MBJ Knowledge. In our today's tutorial, we want to start a new topic called linear programming. As you know, by definition, linear programming is all about maximizing the profit for a particular business. Okay, so stick around. You don't want to miss out this introduction. Why? Because it will help you to shed the unwanted region and find the feasible or the wanted region. And it will also help you to extract conditions from a passage or from a particular statement. Okay. So to help us get our tutorial underway, we are going to begin with some few tips Okay, that we are going to use. So those tips uh, we'll begin first of all with the inequalities okay as we know that linear programming uses inequalities okay now for these to be called inequalities they are determining or they're explaining the relationship between two variables or two quantities okay now our quantities will use special signs now, we, we don't use equal sign like an equation, but we use it signs like the less than sign, okay, like this sign you are seeing here, okay. Then the other thing that we use is, so you can see this is a sign here, the other sign we use, a greater than sign, then the other sign is a less than or equal to sign then a greater than or equal to so these are the four signs that you expect to see on your inequality so even if you are extracting them you are getting an inequality from a condition okay you need to make sure that you use one of these four signs you are seeing here okay now I'm going to categorize them in groups. So the first pair is the less than and the greater than. These ones without e, equal signs. Okay, so I want to talk about what type of lines you are going to draw. So we only have two types of what? Lines. Okay, and that is the dotted one and the broken line. Okay. The first pair will tell us what type of a line we will draw if one of these will, are used on the inequality. Then the second pair, that is the last two, will also tell us different types of what? A different type of line to be drawn when one of them has been used. So let us begin with the first pair. Okay, so the first pair if you've been given okay so if you have been given uh, a less than or so if you have been given a less than or a greater than sign here you need to start drawing a broken line so immediately you see that on your inequality there is one of these two signs just know that as you are plotting on the cartesian you use a broken line okay so let us quickly give an example there so for instance, I have an inequality, y is less than f of x. Assuming this is an inequality here. Now, if you check the sign you've been given, that is one of these signs. Eh? It's a less than sign. Okay, so in this case, the only line we can draw here is a dotted line. Okay, and the same applies here on the other question here. We have y greater than f of x so because it is a greater than it is still in the first pair we are still drawing a broken line so we have that is a broken line so that is an example of a broken line i hope it is clear we go to the second pair if one of these signs have been used a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to Okay, if one of these signs have been used, here we draw a solid line. Okay, so immediately you just see that, make sure you draw a solid line. 
So the same similar example, we have y less than or equal to f of x. And then on my right, we have y then uh, greater than or equal to f of x. So because these two signs are in the second pair, once you see that equal sign, you make sure it should click in your mind to say you are drawing a solid line. Okay, so this is an example of a solid line. Same applies on the other side there, the solid line. Since we've now looked at uh, the types of lines we're going to draw depending on the pair of the signs used, I'm going to categorize again these signs. Okay, now we want to try to find, so finding the wanted region. How do you find the wanted region? Okay, so again here, I'm going to group them. So now I've taken these pairs, that is the less than, and the less than or equal to. So you can see these two signs. Now, these two signs, the first sign, if it is in terms of a line, it is a broken line. The second sign, if it is in terms of a, uh, drawing a line, just know that it is a, a, a solid line. But now, these two signs, we have grouped them together. The less than and the less than or equal to. When you want to find your wanted region, here, your wanted region will be below the line. So if one of those lines have been, I mean, one of those uh, equations, Okay, one of these two signs have been used. Just remember to say the wanted region here for the less than or for the less than or equal to, it should be below the line. So where do you shade? Okay, so we have two examples, y less than f of x. Then this side y less than or equal to f of x. So for this one, we are drawing a, bo a, a broken line or a dotted line. You can see that. Why? Because we have a sign which is in the first pair. Then on the second, so here we are saying the wanted region is below the line. So we don't shed the wanted, we shed the unwanted. So if it is below this line here, I should shed where? Above. I cannot shade where my wanted region is. So we shade above the line there. And that is how you shade. It means you are done there. Okay, so wanted region represented by R. Then we go on the second one. Okay, we are saying below the line, so still more. Our wanted region is below here. Okay, so below there, where do we shade? Good, above the line. So we shade above that line like that. I hope it is clear. Okay, now my second pair will be greater than or the greater than or equal to. When one, when one of these signs have been used, again, the greater than here, we are drawing a dotted line. The greater than or equal to here, we are drawing a solid line. But these two signs, they have one thing in common. When you're finding the wanted region, just to know that it is above the line. So where do you shade for these two signs? You shade below. Because you don't want to shade the wanted. So two examples again. Y is greater than f of x. Then this side y is greater than or equal to f of x. The same dotted line but now this time around we are saying because it is a greater than so the wanted is above my line like this okay so since it is above the line where do you shade in this case so if my arrow is above i shade below the line so i'm going to shade like that okay then this side we are drawing a solid line because we are using it a sign which is in the second pair Okay, now my wanted region where? Above. Okay, where do I shade? Below. So this is where the unwanted region is. Okay, since now we are done uh, finding the wanted region, 
we can now go straight into statements that you expect to see in your passage or wherever someone is now since we are done allocating the wanted region okay what is the next step it is we need now to know particular statements that are used specifically in linear programming conditions in other words and this will help us to identify the sign to use okay so let us go straight into so how to form inequalities imagine you are given a passage and then there are conditions there okay so the first statement we are going to talk about is not more than so if you just see this word here not more than okay not more than Remember, the sign that you are going to use is a less than or equal to. So when you are extracting an inequality, you just see a, a statement to say not more than. Just know that your sign should be a less than or equal to. Make sure you jot down these points. They are very important. Okay. Then not less than. Okay. Not less than here. Make sure it means it should be greater than or equal to so it can be to a particular value or more than that is what it means to say not less than okay I should have not less than five bananas it means I can have five or more more than five bananas okay then the second statement is you expect to see a word like more than okay you expect to see a word like greater than Okay, so when you hear the word more than, it is just the same as greater than. So the symbol there is, you know the symbol for greater than. Opening with your right hand, a greater than. Okay, the fourth condition is at least, at least five mangoes, at least ten apples. So when you say at least, it simply means it can be to that particular number or more than. It shouldn't be less. So you should, um, Hannah should have at least 10 apples. Or Hannah should be given at least 10 apples. There, the at least simply means you can give Hannah 10 apples or more than 10 apples. It shouldn't go less than that. So make sure you use a greater than or equal to sign. Then the last statement is at most okay if you say the number of apples should be at most 50 it means it should be equal to 50 or less than 50 so when you just hear the word at most make sure you use the symbol less than or equal to so these are very much important if you want to uh, come out with inequalities and then plot them on the Cartesian so make sure you jot them down all these they are very important and they will help us the next time we're going to meet and to we'll start plotting so see you in the next part of linear programming if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe